finished doing my makeup today is a saturday guys this week has gone by so so quick Aiden's just outside um finishing off his uh, lunch so i thought i'd quickly come in here and uh, just mention a couple of things before we get ready and we head out i'm gonna go to blue water because there's a few things that i need to pick up i never normally go on a saturday so i'm really hoping that everyone's at home enjoying the weather it's really hot today and it's really nice i'm hoping that everyone's at the beach or they're out and about doing things and they're not indoors in blue water <laughs> because i really don't fancy queuing um i never ever go to a shopping center on a weekend unless i'm like meeting friends or something but i would never like out of my own will go to a shopping center but i do need to pick up a couple of things because um if i don't get it today i'm not gonna have the time and tomorrow that's one of my palettes um because i don't have the time and if i don't do it today i'm not going to be able to and i also want to pick up some hair dye um i have a lot of white hairs right now i'm not sure if you can see and they're all underneath here as well i'm not sure if you can see that but i think it's due to stress because i have been quite stressed lately this summer has been quite a busy one so i have been quite stressed and the reason why i haven't colored my hair is because i was meant to do a project in august with a brand i'm not going to mention the name and the whole campaign was me getting a new hair color so i waited and waited waited it out because i thought that i was going to go to a salon and get my hair colored and you know i saw there was no point in me coloring it it at home but then that campaign completely got cancelled i am just living with this hair right now also i dyed it like maybe back in june i used a box dye from boots and it was medium brown but when i dyed my hair and washed my hair i realized that it's actually really really <gasps> oh please don't tell me this is cracked i just dropped my anastasia and Reese highlighter which my friend bought me all the way in America and I can feel the edges coming loose <gasps> please don't say it's broken like I've already broken so many highlighters I feel like highlighters are the one thing that always breaks like it just crumbles so easily but yeah I'm going off on a tangent um but yeah I bought a medium brown hair dye I put it on and when I washed it off it turned out really really dark like almost black uh, I'm not sure if you can remember my hair colour before this but it was actually lighter so I'm not sure what happened there I actually went darker when I was meant to go lighter so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop to Boots today and tomorrow after work I'm going to come home and dye my hair um, I want to go like a I don't want to go light because I just feel like light doesn't flatter me as much as when I was younger um, definitely not blonde because I don't feel, feel like I can pull it off anymore um when my hair's really light i have to wear more makeup because it kind of washes me out but i actually wear less makeup now so it just doesn't make sense and i think i'm gonna go for like a medium brown but i'm gonna buy a brand and a color that i've used previously before before when i used to always color my own hair so i know it's gonna work and other stories blushes are pigmented af like i put on a little bit and I had to like rub it off because it was enough for both my cheeks and uh, honestly I'm just going to put a little bit more on so you can see it a bit better because my camera's quite bright but it's such a pretty nice flush of colour yeah that's really pretty I now understand why so many Korean makeup artists use this blush because it is such a Korean kind of makeup colour it's like that perfect corally orange colour and also it's so pigmented that it gives you that kind of dolly effect you know the one um the one the look that a lot of korean makeup artists go for you know like the big eyes dolly pink cheeks and then the little lips um but yeah it is actually pretty good it's really pigmented and it's really hot my hair sticking to me but yeah i like it also um uh, maybe about two weeks ago now when it first launched i picked up the fenty hydrating long wear foundation so i'm gonna do a 10 hour review on this i'm gonna do like a whole separate video on this because i'm so excited about this the original soft matte um foundation is one of my absolute faves right now and i am actually wearing it today this is shade 210 so this is the soft matte 
and yeah i'm really looking forward to trying this so i do want to try it on camera and let you guys know how it performs but i need to find a time for that because i need a whole day to do that so probably next week sometime so that video will be coming soon i just went to sainsbury's and i found these two containers and um, these are basically for the fridge so it means i can organize my fridge and keep it nice and tidy and then these were in the sale as well so i got this one for my cereal and then i got this one for pasta uh, both were like 250 so that's quite a bargain and i can't wait to organize my fridge with these and then just did a bit of shopping um i got this fake plant from ikea because i actually had a real plant up there but it was attracting a lot of um, flies and ants so i threw it away and i thought i'd just put a fake one there because it's above all of my like washing and food stuff so i don't want any like ants or um creepy crawlers on then i just did a little bit of a food shop not too much just got drinks ice cream mainly and yeah i got another pillow and my friend's here she just play with aiden we got a like a play pizza from ikea and then you make it on pizza is it fun yeah <laughs> does it stick down is it like velcro no. that's like just like you just put yeah. it on top there's an actual fish yeah <laughs> It's a really casual day today, so I'm just wearing a grey t-shirt and um, these trousers are from H&M. I've got it with some sandals on. You've got sandals as well? Yeah. Cool, put them on then. Um, these sandals are from H&M. They're actually the first time that I'm wearing them, never worn them before. And then I just have my Balenciaga bag with me and then jewellery per usual. Are you flossing? Yeah. Are you comfy? <laughs> I'm just in boots and picking my hair dye and this little guy is moaning because he wants a drink but the drinks are downstairs so I'm going to pick my hair dye first and then go downstairs. Um, this is the one that I used to use all the time and um, the packaging's changed a little bit. Hey, why are you picking mummy's hair dye? Hey, hey. <gasps> uh oh. I'm gonna have to tickle you for that. <laughs> so this is what it used to look like. That was the packaging before and now it looks like this. It's number seven in the L'Oreal Excellence Cream. And I used to also use, um, which one was that? I think it was this one as well, um, 8.1. Um, yeah, it was this one. This one was the one that I used to use when I was quite light, um, like a really light brown color. But I'm definitely not going too light, so I think this one is the one. What do you want? Apple juice. Uh, it's up here. Oh, up here. This one? Yeah, happy? Do you want crisps as well? Go on then, you choose some crisps. That one. Hot chips. Okay then. Can you walk, Eden? Yeah. Because look, mummy's put stuff there. I've also got the eyelash glue as well. This one's really good. I'm home now and I am absolutely knackered. We went for a very yummy Vietnamese. It was really good. The salad was really good and I'm stuffed. I've got kind of a food coma. Um, quickly to show you, I've got the hair dyes and then I went to John Lewis and they're doing a, um, I think it's a price match. So the Nars was 15% off. So I picked up another um, She Glow foundation and I got number medium free Stromboli. Um, so instead of being £33, I think it is, I got it for 28 And this is just to go into my makeup kit. I have about seven of these shades, um, but this one was running low. So I thought I'd pick that up as well whilst it's on offer. And the lady gave me a little sample of all the new lipsticks. Well, not all of them, but quite a few of the new colours and what else did I buy? I bought a blazer from H&M but I think, I think I'm going to do a haul of the things that I've been buying lately because I have bought quite a few new pieces for my wardrobe I got this really gorgeous camel blazer it's so flattering on I'll just quickly show you what it looks like on but I am going to do like a haul video um, this was only £35 which I thought was quite good price so yeah it's really flattering i didn't think i'd like it because it's double breasted i don't normally go for double breasted things i go for um yeah the camera's a bit wonky let me fix that i go for single breasted uh, but this one is actually really nice 
and it actually feels really nice quality um, for a H&M blazer so yeah this was £35 and it's um, pretty decent I quite like it I'm just at the train station with this little one we're going into Central to meet my sister um, we're going to go to a few museums and just have a fun day out because Aidan hasn't been into London um, for the summer holidays period so I thought it'd be nice just to take him and go to the museums and get some nice food and what else do you want to do? Eat food. Eat food? Yeah. What food? I want to eat food because I got to eat yesterday when I eat a phone call. Oh, you didn't eat a lot at school? Yeah. Okay, so you eat a lot today, yeah? Um, I've got this little pal clips in which mm. I got from Primark. No, I've worn them. This is like my Mama. first time wearing them. Mama, yeah. I want gagayan chips. Okay then. Ch Ew! Chicken chips. What is it? Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Can you get a train? Another 10 more minutes to wait. His favourite thing is to get a train, so he's looking forward to it. And anybody who has children, um, what age did you stop carrying a pram? Because when we was in the car, we got out of the car, he said to me that he wanted to walk and he didn't want the pram. But then I brought the pram anyways because we're going into central London and you know when he gets tired and he gets a bit grumpy, no way am I going to carry him around central London for the rest of the day. So what age did your children kind of stop using the pram? Because I really don't know, like if I go to a shopping centre or supermarket or just somewhere like short, like a couple of hours it's fine. But if I'm going out for like a whole day, I'm not sure if I can not bring a pram. I'm not sure, maybe I'm being overprotective or maybe, I don't know, we'll see, we'll see how it goes today, but yeah. Aiden, we are fun here. My sister's late, so we've just come into a coffee shop to get coffee for me and a little snack. Well, that is not little at all, that's massive. It's going to be so full. But yeah, we're just in Ollie and Steen, um, near Chinatown, just having a little snack. Char time because Aiden said he wants bubble tea and um, the other one said a bit of a cube and this one is completely empty so we're coming to char time and my eyes, I don't know why my contacts feel really dry for some reason and a little bit foggy. I think I'm going to have to get some contact lens solution and give them a little clean but it's so hot in here oh my god. History Museum. Yeah. We've just been to Legoland, not Legoland, Lego shop, and he got some Lego from his auntie. Spot, but as usual, we're not in the back of a black cab. <laughs> we're just going through Green Park. Um, should be there in about 10 15 minutes. Um, yeah, what we're going to see here, then? T Rex. T Rex, yeah. So I just got home. It's about nine o'clock now, uh, five to nine. And oh my gosh, we went to a Japanese restaurant in Soho, and the food was so salty, like so salty. I am so thirsty right now, and I drank so much green tea whilst I was there to kind of flush out the MSG. You know, my sisters were so salty that she had to send it back, and they had to make her another one. And oh my gosh, it's. The food there has definitely changed. It used to be like pretty decent, but now it's really bad. We originally wanted to go to Eat Tokyo, but the queue, like I'm not even joking, there was about 40 people, like there was a long, long queue. So it was like, okay, let's just go to another one, like on the on like the back of the other street. So we just ended up going into there and I was just like, oh, wish we didn't come in here because it's so salty that like I've never experienced Japanese food so salty before and yeah oh but I'm tired now um gonna get us bathed and showered and get gonna get into bed um because it's nine o'clock now but Eden's probably not gonna want to go to sleep because what are you doing playing Lego are you playing Lego Break. my sister got him this Lego set um from the Lego shop so he's playing it and I need to put this laundry away as well, so yeah, 
I'll sign off here and I'll see you guys in my next vlog. Bye!